Hello all, I hope everything is well from your side. So I came back with one more video on Power Automate. Let's discuss about how to delete SharePoint document library folders using Power Automate. So in this video, I will cover the three topics that is related to deleting of the SharePoint folders in the library. Uh, the first one is delete a SharePoint folder if it is exist with the specific name. Deleting a multiple folders in the SharePoint document library as well as deleting the empty folders in the SharePoint document library. All this I will explain in a Power Automate flow how to delete the folders in the SharePoint by using delete item action as well as send HTTP request to the SharePoint which is a action from which is the action from SharePoint connector. So let's begin this topic. To start with this, first I will explain about my SharePoint document library. This is my SharePoint document library uh, where I have different folders as well as different files, Excel, PDF, image and as well as folders. The first one we'll discuss about deleting a specific folder with a specific name. So there are three different folders in this like finance, HR and marketing. Now I wanted to delete this marketing folder. Let's create a flow for this. So open your new tab and browse make.powerautomate.com. Then it will automatically navigate to Power Automate homepage. You can see because you have if you have already logged in with the Office 365 credential, if you type make.powerautomate.com in the browser, then it will automatically navigate to the Power Automate homepage. See, as you can see here, it has been navigated to the Power Automate homepage. Let's create a button flow here. Let's create a button flow here to delete a specific folder in the, in the SharePoint document library. Create and select Instant Cloud Flow. Manually trigger a flow. Click on create. The trigger has been added to the Power Automate Canva. In the next section, add one more action that is get folder metadata. It will give all the data related to the folder. As you can see here, this is the SharePoint connector action. I was going to use get folder metadata. Now provide the parameters that is site address and uh, file identifier. The site here is retail management site and select the folder from open folder icon i wanted to delete here the specific folder that is marketing so in the payroll record document library i will choose marketing folder select marketing then add delete item from the sharepoint connector now you may have a doubt like why I was using this uh, delete item action instead of delete folder action because delete folder action is not present from the SharePoint connector. Instead we can use delete item action where if you are providing the ID that is generated from the get folder metadata then it will retrieve that ID and it will delete the folder that with respect to the particular ID that is generated. So in the delete item related to the SharePoint list, not to the SharePoint document library. So as well as in the parameter, you can see the site address list name and the ID. When we click on the site address drop down, SharePoint site where the document library is present in the list name, when you click on the drop down, it will load all the SharePoint list list, but not the but not the SharePoint document library. So we need to enter the custom value here. Click on enter custom value and enter payroll records. This is my document library name. You can see this is my document library name. So enter, click on dynamic content. You can see uh, the ID, we can get it from the get folder metadata. Click on body item ID. Now the flow is ready. Click on save and test the flow. Click on in the test flow window, select manually and click on test. It will ask for the sign in permission for the SharePoint. Click on continue and run flow. 
now you can see the flow has been ran successfully if you are going back to the uh, sharepoint document library once you refresh the page you can see uh, in the payroll records of sharepoint document library the marketing marketing folder has been deleted now let's see how to delete the multiple folders present in the sharepoint document library as you can see i have restored back the sharepoint document folders that we have deleted there are four folders in this uh, finance hr marketing and marketing one now let's see how to create the flow to delete multiple folders from this document library so as it is a time consuming process i have already created the flow let me explain what we have to take in the properties i will explain it in a detailed way so don't worry about this uh, first i have taken the manually trigger a flow uh, as we have taken in the previous example without any uh, input parameters then next to it i have taken get files properties only this will get all the documents that is present in the sharepoint document library in the parameters choose the sharepoint site address from the drop down where the document library is present i have taken it from the i have chosen my sharepoint site as well as the library name from the drop down that is payroll records then i have added a condition i will come to the for each loop don't worry about this uh, then add condition control in the condition control we have to take the condition to select whatever the documents we are getting from the get files properties only we have to compare the values here to select only the folders from the sharepoint document library so select here is uh, each folder is equals to true from the dynamic content of get files or properties only click on see more you can see content is for properties present click on select is equals to choose the value as true when you have selected condition it will automatically add the for each loop by taking body or value from the get file properties only you can also see here this is the one which it will add automatically by taking body or value from the get files or properties only then under the true condition i have added delete item i have already told you why i was been adding delete item instead of delete folder because delete folder action is not present from the sharepoint connector so we need to use either delete item action or we need to call call the rest api to delete the folders from the sharepoint document library as in the same way uh, select the site address that is uh, retail management site list name in the list name this is a uh, action with respect to the sharepoint list so uh, the parameter present here is the list name instead of the library name so we have to give it a custom way we have to enter it in a custom way i have already shown you how to take it from how to take it in a custom way i will show you again when you click on the drop down these are the list names that is present in this sharepoint site or the top bottom of the options you can see enter custom value in the enter custom value you can enter the name take the display name of sharepoint document library that is payroll records i have entered already now coming to the id we need the id that is generated from the layer of the folder so click on dynamic content and add the id that is coming from get files properties only now click on save click on save and test it manually the same way test now the flow will start running while i wanted to show you uh, one more thing it's our product which is a employee leave request app in power apps this is a complete solution for the leave management you can raise a request app uh, in a power apps and it have many request leave request features and employee leaves admin settings and managing public holidays you can get all the features which are displaying here in this page you can go and have a look if you are interested you can buy it with a very reasonable price 
these are the tools we have used to build this leave management application app that is power apps power automate and powershell you can also request a demo here i will i will also provide this employee leave request i will also provide employee leave request app product uh, link in the video description so that you can go and have a detailed look at it whatever the features you are going to get in this uh, leave request app so thank you for listening and let's go back to our flow uh, you can see the flow has been ran successfully and let's go back to the sharepoint list in the sharepoint list see the flow ran successfully and it has been deleted all the folders that are present in the payroll records but it hasn't deleted the files and documents that is present in the sharepoint document library this is how to delete multiple folders from the sharepoint document library by using the power automate now let's move to the third topic that is how to delete empty document library folders in the sharepoint so there are three folders uh, in my sharepoint document library that is payroll records i will open and show you one uh, the three folders in the finance folder i have one file as in the same way in the hr folder i have uh, one file but in the marketing folder i don't have any of the files so now the power automate flow should delete only the marketing folder so i have already i have already designed the flow uh, let me go back to the sharepoint let me go to the power automate flow and explain to you this flow i have designed it with the sharepoint uh, http request by calling by calling rest api in sharepoint i have taken it in the same way manually trigger a flow and the second action will be send an http request to the sharepoint but i have uh, renamed it to the get folders because in this in this action i wanted to get all the folders that are present in my sharepoint document library the site address you provided from the drop down as well as in the method take it as a get method because we were getting the folders from the sharepoint document library this is the uri in the uri i will also provide this uris in the i will also provide this i will also provide this post link in the video description so that you can go and copy the uri headers and everything whatever you need the code we, you can copy it from the post uh, article that is related to the power automate delete empty folders from the sharepoint document library in the in the uri after the sites you need to provide the sharepoint site name this is ali financial bank is the site name this is the site name and this is the sharepoint document library but now i was showing here the retail management site so i will copy the site name and i will paste it here instead of ali financial bank and document library internal name in the place of budget cost files paste it give folders because it will retrieve all the folders that are present in the sharepoint document library and in the headers accept and uh, the key value next take the filter array action because the filter array action uh, will get i was using the filter array action to get the empty folders that are present in the sharepoint document library in the from parameter take the value from get folder but you can see there is uh, only body part is present so you can go to the function and from the dynamic content take body take body and question mark take body and question mark within the square brackets square brackets with the single quotes take value now as you can see it has been added and the value will add here value will add when you save when you save it will be converted into the value and in the filter query you should have to paste this filter query in a advanced mode in a advanced mode this filter query will provide the empty list folders i will also provide this article link in the video description you can go and check out the filter query there then i will take one more send an http request to the sharepoint send an http request to the sharepoint in the parameters take site address 
now we were deleting the folders that have been retrieved from the filter array so take the delete method and in the URI provide the URI that is placed here let me replace the site name as well as the library name here slash we have to provide the name next to the payroll records document library in this name I will give it from the function that is from the dynamic content select the current item and I wanted to retrieve the name here so within question mark and within the square brackets and within the single course provide the name click on add this is what it is so click on save now test the click manually and test click run flow click on done now you can see the flow has ran successfully and it has been deleted only one SharePoint folder. Uh, we can go back to our SharePoint document library. When we refresh the page, you can see the folder of the marketing folder has been deleted as it contains, as it does not have any files in that folder. Other than that, whatever the folders that are not empty has been present this is how to delete the empty folders from the sharepoint document library by using power automate send http request to the sharepoint so this is how to delete a sharepoint document library folders by using power automate i have covered three different examples in this i hope you guys liked the video thank you for watching and do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel thank you and see you in the next video